friends. I am Karina Chin with KarinaStamps.com and I want to welcome you today to my Facebook Live and my YouTube Live. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. I've almost forgotten how to do this. So I come on Tuesdays at one o'clock Mountain Standard Time every single week and I love to share how to make cute cards with you. I've been doing this for 16 years and I absolutely love it. So super fun. So I have lots to share with you today. I am going to show you how to make a super cute card. If you are just tuning in and you want to fast forward to all the chatting, uh, this is what my super cute card will look like. This one. And this was a swap I made for the Stampin' Up! Norway incentive trip that we just got back from. I got back on Sunday night and I should mention that only 1% of the demonstrators earn this trip so it's a lot of work to earn but super duper fun. So today I'm just going to show you some of the swaps I got. People were asking me what I got when I spun the wheel because they had a prize wheel for us to spin in the hospitality suite every day we could go in and spin for a prize so I'll show you that I'll show you again the swaps that I received and I'll also show you how to make this card because I had a lot of people ask me what the measurements were for this card but if you know me I can't make the same card twice so I'm actually going to use gone fishing so I'll try to afterwards in the YouTube video I'll try to put where um, where I start making the card making this type of card using the gone fishing suite so that you can zip ahead if you would like to okay let's see if anybody's joining me today I don't know if anybody's here Kathy hello Gail hello I'm so happy you're here because that means I'm in the right spot okay sounds good and then Margaret Ann hello Margaret Ann I miss you guys I feel like I was away forever it seemed like a very very long time so I was away for about 10 days and I never take a holiday I stamp every day post every day make cards every day and if I don't post I'm always prepping for classes I have a lot of classes that I run um, some in-person ones and a lot of ones virtually in fact my virtual card class is tomorrow night and we do it's actually a uh, we do a technique card so you get the PDF instructions how fun is this and then two kind of not well one fancy fold card one easy card but aren't these cute and then you get the PDF instructions so it's free with a $35 order and if you are in the if you come six times in a row then you get the hostess benefits as well now I'm gonna do this on YouTube next month this month it's still in zoom and I'm gonna transition over there just so more people can sign up um, isn't that cute though so this is what the girls are going to be making tomorrow so if this looks like fun and you missed out on this and you really want the PDF tutorial you can still get the PDF tutorial I just finished it so that is my technique based class and then what else do I have going on oh so many quick announcements okay I gotta let you know this um, did anybody get the annual catalog and you have a huge wish list you know maybe it's over Maybe it's a thousand dollars at least that's what mine was maybe it's two hundred dollars well have I got a deal for you starting on June the 1st Stampin Up has a starter kit at a special price again so it is normally 100 well it's 135 dollars and you get 200 and six dollars in product oh I should have wrote that down it's I worked it out and it's like a 71 dollars in free product no shipping no GST and you get paper pumpkin kit and the best part about it is you get to be part of our crafting crew group so we stamp together on the first Friday of every month and I mail out the kits to you if you want or you can just cut your own kit and I only charge five dollars for the kits we make four cards and uh, I charge two dollars for shipping so I love my team because my team and my customers are the ones who get me on the incentive trips and just support me so that's kind of my thank you back to our group we have a really fun group we have card challenges as well so if you have a huge wish list and want to get the starter kit let me know because it goes on sale on june the first so don't sign up today make sure it's june the first so if you have any questions you can let me know and if you need to find out where to go you go to karinachin.stampinup.net and there's a join now button 
or you can um, place an order as well by going to that same spot and then if you use the hostess code which is j p p b k s q m that will link your order together and i have an ordering special as well when you spend more than a hundred dollars with me i give you a free embellishment or something really fun and while i was away did you guys see any traveling joe posts now traveling joe should be making a guest appearance today but i put him somewhere really safe and i'm looking around the room because i made sure it was easy for me to find and do you think i can find him now he's missing so my traveling joe posts were while i was away and traveling joe went to england he went to norway and had a fantastic trip so if you can list 10 places traveling joe has been and either email it to me or fill out the google sheets form that i created and give it to me by next tuesday i'm gonna draw for a really good prize next tuesday live so make sure you get those in to me and on instagram i'm stamp with karina and here i'm karina stamps on facebook and on youtube so that's what I wanted to announce about that. Super fun. And for the people who ordered the mystery boxes, well, they didn't order. They placed an $80 order and they get a free mystery box. I'm going to be working on those this weekend. So stay tuned. It's super fun. I love giving away a uh, free product just as a thank you for people who are supporting me. Okay. The other thing I wanted to announce was on june the 6th i'm doing a paper pumpkin demo that'll be on facebook and youtube and that'll be at 7 p.m mountain standard time so grab your paper pumpkin kit i got mine i'm so excited look at this i have two but i sold the other one already and then i brought in extra exploring in color cards and envelopes so i can't wait to play with that on june the 6th and then june 28th if you're not busy come join me for games night we're gonna do it over zoom just because then you can live anywhere in the country and i'm sending the kits out soon so make sure you sign up for that and i usually have over four to five hundred dollars in prizes uh, to give away so that's super fun as well okay i think that's all i wanted to mention for now except another thing when you have a starter kit number you can take advantage of the pre-orders that Stampin' Up! is offering. So we've got some brand new online exclusives coming out that customers can order on July the 6th. But if you have a demo number starting June 1st, you can actually order them. So I'm not sure if I can show them yet. I'm not sure, but one is a Christmas suite called Horse and Sleigh. It's got a horse, it's got a sleigh, some really fun sentiments. It's got really pretty designer series paper some snowflake embellishments and i'm going to be doing a christmas card christmas in july class i think on july 22nd we're going to make six cards three designs and it's going to be in person and then if you live out of town um, i do the pdf tutorial so i can easily do a kit to go for you so stay tuned for that if you're wondering where all my classes are i email it out because i have lots of fun classes and i don't always update my website so i find Get on my con my constant contact email list and then you stay updated with everything okay the other thing i wanted to mention is did you see any of the beautiful designer series papers that we have in the annual catalog because we have a designer series paper sale starting on june the 1st to june the 30th so you get 15 percent off the designer series paper so, for example, today I'm going to use Gone Fishing. Show you what the paper looks like. It's 15% off. So that's awesome. Look at these fun patterns. Isn't this great for masculine cards? Ooh, why didn't I use this design? Oh, I love that. Right? Super fun. So if you have a man in your life who likes fishing, you definitely need some designer series paper because you can cut out uh you can cut out the fish and make fun fun super fun cards and then well personally i think you know you need the whole suite but i'll go into that in a second now another pack that's on sale that i absolutely love is the bright and beautiful oh no this stuff's not on sale this was part of my paper share that i did i always get a little bit for myself but this is the bright and beautiful designer series paper it's on sale for $14.45 it goes with everything it they show it in the catalog with the balloon bundle um but really it's perfect for any kind of cards I'm going to be featuring 
this this paper in my so refreshing class that i have also scheduled in july so that's going to be super fun and then is this paper on sale hmm glorious gingham oh my goodness glorious gingham is also on sale this is only twelve dollars and 32 cents look at these beautiful colors so these are the brand new colors that came with the color refresh so berry burst uh, blueberry bushel lemon lime twist pecan pie and pretty peacock so this is also on sale i'm just taking a quick look at my papers oh my gosh i haven't even played with this this is like i said from my paper share that i just ran this is called inked botanicals look at this wow isn't this beautiful i don't know this paper just makes me happy i love these colors just absolutely love them so there is that and then i'm just trying to see if i have any other ones oh yeah this is super fun it's called la shops i don't know where it all is right look at the little houses and cafes and stuff you can cut out of this paper this one is also on sale 15 percent off and my favorite is zoo crew i'm telling you i just love zoo crew super fun that's what i did my swap with these little guys that are just singing animals just make me happy they are so cute and i don't have a full package of this left but look at a frog playing a flute seriously cute beaver with some bongos i don't know this just makes me happy and then if you don't necessarily want the critters well then you can just turn it over and you have black and white patterns on the back so super versatile super fun that's also on sale um we also have this one this beautiful paper this one is called countryside in actually just brought in three packs of this i think i'm going to use this at my monday night card class that's also a virtual card class anyone in canada can join isn't that pretty though beautiful so that's also on special and then i think i had one more or two more cheerful daisies i just can't say enough about this paper you have flowers on one side neutral patterns on the other and i'm featuring this at my stamp camp on june 24. that's going to be in person as well see look at all these classes i have yeah a lot of classes but so fun and then the last one i wanted to share is i have to, i haven't even touched this suite yet i think this is earthen earthen elegance oops not that one where'd my sheet go is that it earthen elegance i'm probably saying that wrong but you know close enough okay this is what it looks like wow look how beautiful this is oh this would be great for masculine cards too oh i might have to play with this a little bit like i said i didn't stamp for 10 days and i almost forget how crazy and then this one i think is super interesting called masterfully made look at they actually tore paper and made a whole bunch of different patterns with it like how fun is that i just think this is the most creative paper i have ever seen and i could just i want 50 sheets of this one this is my all-time favorite but isn't that beautiful so this is also on sale and then ooh, this one makes me happy look at this one 38 dollars and 84 cents and you're probably thinking why is that so expensive because it's a giant paper pack so delightfully eclectic designer series paper look at some of the fun patterns i really bought it oh i like that oh can you tell i like flowers Ooh, strawberries this is fun right great for scrapbooking journaling so we've got some lemons we got some daisies Ooh, this matches a brand new punch that we have which makes me happy because i bought the punch and i didn't know what to do with it so I'll be playing with that. Ooh, can we do Scrabble? Can we spell out words? And pretzels, right? I want to do a food card. Super fun. So anyway, this giant paper pack is also on sale. Now, if you were part of my uh, paper share, you would have got a quarter package of all these fun designs already. So you should be able to go through and see which ones are your favorite and uh, buy some more. That's the nice thing about uh, when the paper goes on sale. Okay, and I just dropped my paper, so I'll just pick that up and tuck it over here. I think that's everything in here. Oh, stargazing. Where's stargazing? Oh my gosh, that paper is beautiful. I haven't used it yet because I uh, 
don't make a lot of star cards. Just trying to see if I had it. I love it though. It's so pretty. That's probably around here somewhere. That's the only one I can't show you right now. Did I use it already? I don't think so. Anyway, super fun. No, I can't find it right now. Just trust me. It's beautiful. It's got moon, planet, stars. Really, really fun. So that's a lot of paper that's on sale. How many is that? Uh, one, two, three, four. So that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 packages that are on sale. And you could get all this in a starter kit if you want, because you can get absolutely anything you want in the starter kit, including the online exclusives that you can't get yet. So I just wanted to share that with you too. Now, I think that's all I had to announce. Yes. Okay, let's just see if anybody is here with me today. Live streaming. Yep, Margaret Ann. Is this sale for everyone? Yes, Margaret Ann, the designer series paper sale is for everyone. So if you have um, a demo number and you want to sell to your friends, yes, tell them about the designer series paper sale for everyone. What's not, what's not available to customers yet is the new online exclusives. I'll post it in our crafting crew group, though, so that you can take a look at it. Uh, that way you will stay informed. Okay, let's see here. Oh, Joanne's here. That's a fancy fold card for a swap. Hope you got awesome ones back. Yes, Joanne, I did. I'm going to show you. Do you guys want to see what I got? Let's let's do a little bit of show and tell because this is half of the fun. I'm going to show this again at my team meeting. Plus, I'm going to show them some of the cards that were revealed. Some of the brand new product that's coming in August. And before anyone asks, no, we didn't get a catalog. I've had a few people ask me. The new annual catalog or the new mini catalog will be available, I think, September 1st for customers and demos. Uh, demos can get it, I think, August 1st. Okay, first of all, I got a super fun Stampin' Up! cup. Now, this is great. It's insulated. I think I drink coffee all the time. Coffee or tea, so I love this. Next, I got a fun little Norwegian horse. This would be great for my traveling Joe Gnome, wherever he is. I'm just looking around my room. This is bad because I put him in a safe place, and that's probably the worst thing. I'll probably find him six months from now, hopefully sooner, but who knows. Then I got a Stampin' Up! sticker. Now, what do you think I can use for this? Do you think I could use like one of those hydro flasks? Or maybe it can go on my uh, laptop, or maybe it'll be a door prize, right? If you're coming to my creative, um, my creative day, my uh, all-day retreat, sorry, on June 24th, some of these will be a door prize, okay? A Stampin' Up! keychain. Isn't that cute? And then I think this is my favorite. Stampin' Up! coasters. Aren't they beautiful? We always need coasters. Right? It just absorbs the water from your glass so it doesn't go all over your table and ruin your card projects. And then the last thing I spun, so you get to spin every day. There should be, I think, six things that I got. Um, chip. It's a chip clip. Or you can hang it on your fridge or a magnet board and you can, you know, put your card on here. So I do have a magnet board, so I think that's what I'm going to do with one of mine. I got two of them two of them isn't that fun and then one's gonna go on my magnet board i'll have to pull it out oh i think i've got a stampin up magnet board too isn't that fun so that's uh those were some of the prizes that we got from spinning to win now i'm gonna put this guy back this guy back and then this in here and then that way i won't lose it hopefully i won't lose it and then we then i'll show you my swaps so I'll just go through these quickly. Look at this. So this is like the most, I think this is so fun getting swaps back from other demonstrators. And they are the top demonstrators, right? Because it's not easy to earn the incentive trip. So these are the top performing demonstrators. And it was really fun to just spend time with everybody, sit in the hospitality suite, get to meet some new friends. Um, I just wander around and I love chatting with everybody. I've taken some pictures with some people that I should probably post in Instagram and Facebook. Um, I got my picture done with Shelly and then one with Sarah. So that was super fun and I got to chat with them as well. 
that was just such a fun trip. I went a couple days early to England with my daughter Katie and we went to we went to and had high tea at Kensington Palace one day. We went to the museum of one of the museums, Natural History Museum. We went to Phantom of the Opera. It was a the most amazing performance I've ever seen of Phantom of the Opera. It was super fun. And then what did we do the first day? Oh, we went and saw the Tower of London and Westminster Abbey. So that was even before I got on the Norway trip. And then we had a cruise for seven days uh, that went to Norway. So yeah, tune into my, I posted pictures. Uh, feel free to take a look. But yeah, it was super fun. Hey, anybody have any questions? No, hello, Karen's here. Natalie's here. Bilkis is here. Gail's here. Pat's here. Hello, Sean is here. Joanne's here. Oh my goodness, all my friends are here. Yeah, so like I said, I almost forgot how to do this Facebook Live, um, how to get the streaming service done. But luckily, I'm here with you to share. Okay, I think we're going to make this one at my Wednesday morning card class because I love it so much. It's a watercolor wash. It uses Cheerful Daisies, which is my favorite set right now. Um, a little bit of paper tearing, some embossing, and it was made by Donna Gray. So love this one. I love the colors. Did you notice I'm wearing boho blue? Here, I'll put it to myself. I found this in Norway at a store. So Katie and I ended up shopping and buying some clothes, but isn't this perfect? A boho blue shirt. So exciting. Okay, I love this one. I didn't know I got this one for a swap. I... I just love the paper folding. So this is by Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. I think it's Melissa Kerwin, I believe, but super fun. This one is by Abigail Egolf. Look how cute this is. So I don't know. I think the rhino sold out. Does anybody know? But, you know, you could still use this design. It just really features the deckled rectangle dies. But she did a lot of die cutting for this, right? A lot of die cutting. Again, Cheerful Daisies. Love this. This is a fancy fold. This is by Terry Gaines. I don't know if you've seen any of Terry's stuff. I love I love her stuff. Look at this. I think we're going to have to make a card similar to this because I've got the measurements now. But I like how it interlocks. Is that not fun? I think that'll also be a Monday night card class. So that'll be this month. So if you like these cards, make sure you sign up. And uh, you will get your card kit and you can stamp along with us. Okay, the next one is, let me just go like this so I don't lose who this is from. Okay, this one is, da, 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 da. oh, this is like mine, but sideways. This is Angela Waters. Ooh, great minds think alike. So this is cool because this is the reverse of mine that I'm going to show you today. Ooh, cool. Now I have the measurements this way. Ooh, I have to try this. I have to try this. So cool. And then remember how I said that stargazing paper was super fun? This is from Elodie Tanshod. I don't know. I'm totally butchering that. Anyway, look at this. This is one of this is one of the impossible cards. I haven't made this for a while. I'll have to make one again. These are super fun and they're really easy to make. Right, and they just stand up on your desk like that. You can write your sentiment on the bottom, but there's that paper. You guys need this designer series paper. So beautiful. Okay, this one is really pretty as well. This one is by oh, who is this by? Michelle Sturgeon. So this is beautiful. She is in, I think, Ontario. Very, very pretty, Michelle. Okay, and then the next one up is this one here is by Janet Muden. I think that would be the states. Three one or three two one. What do you think? Is that the states? The U.S. Oh, that's kind of fun. I like how this tucks over. It's almost like a buckle card, but super pretty. Just pretty colors, right? And I think this would be very easy to do. It's just the new embossing folder. A couple of. Uh, die cuts and a little bit of embossing on here so love that part too and then oh my goodness who made this one is she ever smart 
Oh, that Karina Chan. Now I've got two. I can give one. I've got a bunch of birthday cards. I didn't get out my June birthday cards. I'm so sorry. Now I've got one to send out. Okay. Anyway, this is from Mary Ondick. Uh, I think she's, I don't know where she is. Uh, it doesn't say 519 area code. Any guesses? Anyway, I love how she used this bird and uh, the sending dies. I like that word. Sending sunshine to brighten your days. I haven't used him for a long time, so I've got to dust him off and pull him out. Okay, this one is really pretty. It's by Janice Waitman. So I'm pretty sure I met Janice in one of the lineups and had a little chat. But I like how she decorated the inside of the card. And the colors are really pretty, right? Flirty Flamingo. Is this the brand new pecan? Not pecan pie, but copper clay. I think it's copper clay. And this looks like Mossy Meadow to me. And I think this is the brand new Lemon Lolly. Or is it Lolly Lemon? I don't know. I've been having a stamp for a whole 10 days. I don't even know my colors anymore. Okay, this one I thought was super fun. This is by Cindy Bromba. Look how fun this one is. So I like how she cut this out and then offset it so it created a shadow and just popped it up. And I like how she kind of created this interesting focal point. So I think this is a really interesting card. And she decorated the inside of the card. So that's really pretty as well. Okay, I think this is one of my favorites. It's so simple, but don't you just want to give everybody a pretzel card along with some fresh pretzels to eat? So I love this stamp set. This stamp set's going to be one of my games night prizes, I think, because I think everybody needs this set. Not just to do pretzels, but a whole bunch of different ones. We also have a pizza stamp set with a pizza guy as well. So I need him too. This is Anastasia Radloff. So really pretty. Again, Cheerful Daisies. Look at how beautiful this one is. I don't know if you can really see that, but she embossed it all together. So she cut it, put it in the folder and embossed it, and it kind of squishes everything together and then put on the daisy elements. And this is by Robin Chandler. Love that, from Florida. This one is Barb Mulliken, right? Super cute. That's the pretzel paper again. Like, how fun is that? Just a simple card, but you could easily make a whole bunch of these. And people will go, wow, can't believe you made that. Now, this is that paper that I said I love. I don't know why, but I love these colors. I think they're just so beautiful. And this is by Alicia Graham. So a nice, simple layout, nothing too tricky, but you could easily recreate these and do a whole bunch of birthday cards. And if you were doing that, I would recommend that you get the go-to greetings because you could do the same layout. Hello, just a note, thank you. Um, happy birthday wouldn't fit, but you could easily find um, a label that would work too. And this is the specialty paper. I think that's a pretty peacock specialty paper and it's kind of shiny. I don't know if you can really see that but awesome card as well and then what's this one this is by holly sutton oh yeah this was so i like this so this is just like a z fold card but i like how she put the whole panel on here and this uses one of my favorites right now is it simply saying or something what's a, it's got a circle punch and it's got a set of dies can't tell you what the name is right now no clue Okay, and then we'll go to the next card. Lots of people, look at all the blue cards, right? Is that, uh, what's that paper called? Cottage something, something, something? Does anybody know what this paper is called? Let's just check it out. Amy Todd, oh, 519 is Ontario. Okay, so Amy's here, Liz is here. Nice to have you join me today. I gotta look up this paper, Countryside Inn. It's driving me crazy. Okay, now this is somebody from either the UK or Europe because I think, I think so. Handcrafted from the heart, Stampin' Up. Judy Mail, Australia. Because Australia, look at the, look at the differences, right? They have different card sizes than us. So this is their card base. It's like a quarter of an inch bigger than ours and a little bit skinnier, which is, I think they call this a A2 card, but I think that's really interesting. But I love how she die cut this from the silver foil. It's just so pretty, right? A little bit of embossing. 
And I like too how she did thinking of you with the um, accent stamp around it. Really interesting. Um, and then we have, is this a fancy fold or just really nice? Kathy Clark. Not the Kathy Clark on here. Unless you live in Concord. What's NH? What state is NH? Anybody? Help me out here. Concord NH. Hmm. I'd have to go through my states now. I'd have to sing a little song, which I'm not going to sing for you today. Uh, this one's just beautiful, right? It's just, um, I think, ev has everybody got these dies? You need these dies. They just go with everything. And then make sure you get the coordinating embossing folder. And I think this is the Countryside in Product Suite. Uh, you'll see these everywhere right now. Um, New Hampshire, is that what it is? No, NH. I'll just wait and look in the chat and I'm sure somebody will know and they'll go, Karina, I can't believe you didn't know that. Yeah, I'm still jet lagged. I was up again at four in the morning. I can't fall asleep. This is going to be really hard to switch back. Okay, this one is da, 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 Stamping with Diane. Diane Evans. She is in Canada. I don't even think, did I bump into Diane on the trip? I don't know. But look how pretty that is, right? Just a really pretty card. There's those really nice dies again. This one is Karen Braxton. I'm pretty sure she is in the States. Yep. And isn't that nice though? Oh, I think I made one of these cards the other day. I did a similar style, but I love it because you get to see both sides of the pretty designer series paper. So super fun as well. And you know what? I love this paper. Did, when I saw it in the catalog, I went, oh, what was Stampin' Up! thinking? It's a little crazy and all the colors are crazy. But you know what? It's super fun because they tore paper, put it all together, took a picture, and then created designer series paper. So I can use this without having to tear it. It's called Masterfully Made Designer Series Paper. And that is by Jessica Bridgden. So super fun. Not sure where 607 area code is. Yeah, no clue. No clue. This one is Robin's Stamping Hood with Robin uh, Scherzer. Okay, I'm butchering that. I just better, I better stop now. But isn't this just pretty, right? I love this product suite. Um, it's the balloon product suite. It uses that beautiful, bright and beautiful designer series paper. And it has stamp set and dies. Super fun. But I love this element. It does fringes so many things with that and then this one is it bigger oh uk person i would say or europe or australia this is no name oh no that's so sad because look how beautiful this is can you see what she did so she stamped a whole bunch of oysters and looks like some birds on some pretty peacock cardstock and then she punched out with a circle punch and then she sponged all the edges and it says you are a pearl precious you are a pearl rare and precious and then she decorated the inside and I like how it uses the new pebbled path in color so pretty as well and then finally finally the last swap I got was tattoo doll creation Okay, no clue who that is, but I sure like it. So this is kind of like another buckle fold card. But see, the paper does it all. Like, isn't that fun? And so she did a couple layers of flowers. Um, oh, here it is. Who is this? This is Andre Katudal. I'm butchering that. I apologize. I'm not very good with names. But yeah, beautiful card, right? So those were the fun swaps that I got. So we had to go down with 26. So I must have got 25, plus I got mine back. So now I have a birthday card. And uh, if anybody has any questions, ask away. And I'm going to show you how to make this card. So I think if you're in my regular card clubs, you've already made this. But it's nice to have a refresher because these measurements are tricky. So I'm going to do a PDF tutorial of the measurements and try to embed it into my blog so wish me luck you guys um it could be a bit tricky okay so i am using let me just go here quick and check the comments do do do, do. thank you shauna they are pretty cards right 
Joanne, uh, Joanne Collins is New Hampshire. Thank you, Joanne. I'm challenged when it comes to all the different states. Oh, everybody knew that. Liz, Gail, Karen, am I the only one who didn't know what NH is? Okay, that's super embarrassing. Super embarrassing. But anyway, I just got to laugh at myself, right? Oh, 915 is Ontario, Margaret Ann says. So that's good to know. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to make this card. But before I start, I am featuring Gone Fishing. Why am I featuring this? Because I'm from Flim Flam, Manitoba, and I grew up with fishing. And my dad fishes, well, he fished all the time. My brother fished. They dragged me along fishing. I ate snacks and suntanned. I didn't want to touch the slimy fish. So when I saw the set, I'm like, yay, I've got cards for my brother and my dad. I'm so excited. And it's actually a whole product suite. So if you are a stamping collector, you need this set. So it's $99. So if you order the suite from me, I'll send you a complimentary embellishment. And I think I'll pick something that coordinates with this suite. Uh, this is a beautiful designer series paper that is 15% off right now. Oh, hold that thought. So don't use the sweet collection number because you'd pay full price for the paper. So you want to order everything separately. So you want the Gone Fishing Bundle for $68.25. You want the designer series paper, which is 15% off and is da, 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 $14.45. And then you also want the twisted rope embossing folder as well for $13.75. So it's cheaper to buy the pieces individually right now. That's super cute. Oh, there's a pizza man. And you know what? You need this one too. I want to see some people making pizza cards. And in fact, I want pizza for dinner now just by looking at that, right? You are supremely awesome. Like how fun is that? Anyway, I just thought I would mention that. And I think the best thing about this besides the paper is the super fun dies because it makes look at it makes a tackle box can you guys see that look at the tackle box so i'm going to show one of these cards later this week i've decided i'm going to pick a suite work with it all week long it won't be a video every day but i will make the card for you and post it and this is why i'm so excited so look at these dies look how many dies you get so you get this little what is this a boy and then this will cut the water so that you can actually insert your boy into the paper. Um, it's got some fish pieces. It's got some tackle box pieces. This actually cuts a tackle box. This cuts and embosses some water, uh, which I'll show you right away when we do our card. And we just have, yeah, lines. It's just super fun, right? We've got some fish. These look like the lures. Uh, to lure the fish which i thought was super fun and then this is a stamp set so we've got some nice sentiments happy father's day so glad you're my dad happy retirement good um congrats and good things come to those who wait it's not funny i thought that was pretty funny anyway just wanted to share that with you and now i'm going to show you my fun card and I'm also using go-to greetings because this is just a must-have stamp set. Oh, and I also use this. Um, these are the new nested essential dies. So I've been using these a lot. A lot. I think it's going to be the next thing, best thing next to the stitched stylish shapes dies. Super fun. Okay, so I need this out. Uh, we'll put this over here. And I've got my kit partially started. So the trick with this card is that normally a card base is cut at five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. This is not. This is five and a half inches by eight and a quarter. So I've already cut that. And then on the long side of the card, this is where the measurements get weird. We're going to score at two and one eighth. So if you go to two, you find where two and a quarter is, you want the line right in between. So two and one eighth. So we're just going to score that. And then we're going to go to three and one eighth. So I go to three. Uh, you can pull it to a quarter and then back halfway. But really it's three and one eighth. Then we're going to five and one eighth. 
and then six and one eighth. Now this is a bit of a problem. Where's six and one eighth? Because this is six and a quarter here. I think it's right here. Wish me luck. <laughs> this is scary. I'm in the in the dead zone here. Yeah, that looks like I did it right. Okay. Whew. The pressure of being live. Actually, just kidding. I don't mind at all. I love stamping and sharing with you guys. Super fun. Okay, so what we're going to do, you can see from here, we need to do some folding. So mountain, valley, mountain, valley, fold. So we're going to start on this side. Mountain, valley, mountain, valley. And it basically forms a nice little accordion. And then we just get down, get our super helpful bone folder. And we're just going to go over these score lines. Right, so very easy card. And I like the fact that when it folds up, it fits into a regular sized envelope. So if it's eight and a half, if you didn't cut that quarter inch off, it will not fit. But you'll figure that out soon enough. Okay, the next thing we're going to need is, ooh, okay, I got my little fishing tackle. Blur, let's put that there. Okay, we've got two pieces of mossy metal cardstock. I think they are two and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And then this one is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Then we have some uh, white designer or white basic white cardstock and some designer series paper that's the same size. And it's two and five eighths by five. And then this little guy is one and five eighths by five. And then I think that's it. The rest is just decorating. Okay, so first of all, let's start with, uh, we're going to put our designer series paper down on our mossy metal cardstock. And you can use any kind of adhesive you want. I really like to use my liquid glue because it's fast. It works for me. And I don't think it matters which direction you put this down. Nope. There's no right or wrong way, so I like that. This panel is going to go on here, but I thought I would create some waves. So I went and embossed this boho blue and misty moonlight. And what I was going to do was put it down here like this to create some waves. So let's see where this needs to go. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So let's put this right about here. And I want them to be a little bit white, white waves. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that right away. And I'll just glue this piece down. And I like the fact that with the liquid glue, I have a little bit of wiggle room. That makes me happy in case I make a boo-boo. And put something where it should not go. Cover that up right to the bottom of the white basic white cardstock. And then I'm going to stamp a sentiment on here. So I'm going to stamp, so glad you're my dad. If I wasn't for my dad, I could just, you know, leave a blank. Good things come to those who wait. Happy retirement. This is great because we don't have a lot of retirement sets. So I love this. And let's see here. Here's my ink pad colors. I've got some boho blue, so let's try that. I really want Misty Moonlight, but it's too far. It's over across the room. It's hiding with uh, Traveling Joe, wherever he went. That's going to drive me crazy. I put him in such a safe place. Okay, and I'm leaving room so that I can put, Hi, Dad. So glad you're my dad. Love, Karina. There we go. I think my dad will love this card. And I'm going to stick this down now, and then I'll add my uh, little white accent. So I'm going to show you how I do that. You could take a blending brush and blend some white craft ink over it. I'm going to try color it. So let's see. Oh, hello, Otto. Are you coming for a little visit? So I like to use either um, an old aqua painter. I put it with a little bit of water and wash it out. Oh, I didn't get any water. Do I have any water in here? What oh, I do. I don't know. Let's see what this is looking like. Oh, it looks like I have some crafting. 
or you can use an old blender pen. I do like old blender pens. So I just need a titch of water just to make it. Well, that's probably, that was more than a titch. That was too much. But anyway, I just want to make this um, a little more soupy. Now I had an, I have a re-inker and I actually added my ink, my re-inker on this side with a little bit of water, but that's too much. But then I'm just going to paint in my uh, kind of waves. And then that allows me to get in the embossed areas where I want it. And it just gives it a little bit of texture. And uh, if you like doing techniques, you really need a white craft um, ink pad. You can do so many techniques with it. And I like the fact that Stampin' Up! sells the re-inkers for them. Well, it actually comes in one. You get a re-inker when you get the ink pad. It comes uninked, so you have to add your reinker to it. But you can see how old my pad is. I just keep using a reinker on everything. Okay, let's just go like that. Ooh, that's a little dark. Bit of a mistake. I need some tissue, but I'll deal with that later. Look how old this pad is. I think it is 16 years old. I think this is one of the very first pads I bought. Okay, and then that panel is ready to go. And then this panel, we're just going to put the designer series paper down on it. I thought this looked pretty. And I didn't want this card to take a super long time. Um, and then let's see how this goes together. So step one, when you fold this up, you want this to be centered. Yeah, you want this to be centered. So I'm going to put this one down first. And if you would like, you can actually take a pencil and make a tick mark with your pencil right here so that you know how far to put the glue. But I've been stamping long enough that I've got a pretty good eye for where things need to go. So I'm just eyeballing it, right? And I want it to be centered uh, with the second panel, with the second fold, because I want this one to fit right underneath. It's going to be like a... Is that right? Yeah. Oh, I see what I did. This one, I hit it. I think I'm still good. Okay, this one's going to go like this. And again, be careful where you put your adhesive. Because if you put it over the whole, if you put adhesive on, on this whole piece, it's going to glue your card shut. And uh, then you're going to be a little sad. You did all this work for no reason. So I'm just nudging this right up against the score line. Making sure that these two mossy meadow pieces line up nicely. So isn't that cute? And then this piece will just go on this back panel. So let's add that. Make sure your waves are going the right direction. So what do you think of this? Isn't this a cute card, you guys? And you can see how it works for like every single stamp set you have. If you needed more area to write stuff, you could just leave this white and then write another sentiment. Now, I have a feeling that you could actually put a gift card in here, too, if you wanted to, right? Okay, now, I have already used my nested Essentials dies that I told you you needed. This is kind of a fun shape. Nested Essential dies, And I think on here... Oh, I know. I was going to put So Glad You're My Dad on here. I'm going to put Happy Birthday, I think. Because I've already got a Father's Day card. And I think, I think, I think, I think what happy birthday would work. This is kind of fancy. I kind of wanted this one. Happy birthday. So glad you're my dad. Right? Does that sound nice? Who's with me? Who likes that? Okay, so we're just going to stamp this. Ta-da! Happy birthday. And then I've already die cut some pieces. So I've got uh, this little boy bobbing in the water. Is that a boy? Is that what it is? Or is that a float? I don't know. I was too busy sun tanning to pay attention. Okay, and I like how it's got the outline shape. And then it's got this little piece here to fill it in. Let me just get some more blocks. This is the first time I've stamped since I've been home. So, you know, kind of winging it. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, interesting. Okay, let's see how this works. I like the fact it's photopolymer and I can line it up nicely. Okay, and then I can cut that out. Let's just get my my uh, cleaning cloth here. What is a sim uh, simply chamois? Simple chamois. Okay, and then while I'm doing it, I might as well clean this too, right? And then I've got a block I can use. So let's get that. Da -da -da -dum. And then I think we need to add some lures on here. I've got these already pre-done, so I'll just go cut these out and we'll see what this looks like now. Uh, we'll get my baby boho blue mini embossing machine. So if you're getting a starter kit, you can actually get this in your starter kit, right? If you don't have one of these machines, they're super fun. Um, it's a great time to get it because you get 200 and what did I say? Two, 206 in product, something like that. Don't hold me to it if it's wrong. Don't say, Karina, you said... Yeah, no guarantees. Okay, I'm going to get the coordinating dies. Use these yet. First time I'm using these. But I wanted to work ahead and get this stuff done. Ooh, what is this shape? Do you see that shape? I don't think it's this one. Maybe I'll just have to cut it out by hand. It's probably in here staring me in the face. But who knows? You're going to hear auto barking. I'm, I apologize. He's just an excitable little guy. We're working on reactive training right now with him, but um, he's not doing so good. We went on holidays and he forgot everything he learned. So I don't know. We might get thrown out of dog school this Friday or this Sunday. Who knows? He has regressed. Okay, so we got that cut out. We got this one done. I thought I already cut another piece out, so let's just grab our paper snips, and we will cut this out. And bye-bye, Otto, you're too loud. What he does is he parks himself in front of our window, and you know, he supervises the neighborhood, so nobody is getting into our house that he does not, that he does not know. Okay, so I don't know if there was a die for this or not, but you know what? Paper snips work. Okay, so this is my vision. Let's get rid of this. Oh, I need to cut this one out too. Hang on, we need the little boy. The little boy or float. I'll check the comments after to see if you guys know what it's called. Okay, so where is my thing? So with these little guys, it's really important to stagger the plate. So can you see how I've got the white panel down here? I've got the clear panel on top. And then I'm just putting this down, but they're not necessarily lined up. But that allows it to catch in the machine and roll it through. Because when I first got this machine, I was lining everything up like this, and then it wasn't catching. And then Stampin' Up! sent out a notice, and I'm like, oh, if you offset them, the machine works perfectly. And I like the fact it fits in my purses, so I can take them, you know, to go. If I'm doing um, an in-person event, it works perfectly. Okay, so what have I got here? I think I'm going to go like this. Happy birthday. We'll put this little lure here. And I also had a little die cut piece. Let's just see. Uh, here it is. Look at this. Is that not just fun? Right? Okay, there we go. So let's glue these pieces down. I think I'm going to pop this one up. Da -da okay, there we go. We're almost done. What do you think of this card? I think you could actually do this for a class. So my virtual card class that I'm going to start doing on YouTube, um, we actually uh, f feature kind of a bundle as well with it. So next month, I can't remember what we're doing next month. If anybody knows, put it in the chat what next month is. Maybe it's so, I think it's so refreshing. So refreshing bundle. Okay, that's uh, really popped up there. I don't know if I can get another one in there. I might have to cut it. I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay, 
so glad you're my dad we're gonna pop this up and this set kind of coordinates more with very vanilla so if i'm making this card again i would choose very vanilla i'm just gonna add some dimensionals at the back here we go and then i think i'm almost done my card almost so let's go like this then you guys can tell me which one you like better you know what this is Maybe that's not a fair question because those zoo crew is so darn cute. Okay, I think that's going to cover up my sentiment pretty close. Maybe I need to move it over a little bit. It's not quite centered, but uh, pretty darn close. My dad's not going to notice. Okay, ta-da! There we go. And then, of course, you can add some linen thread here if you want. Um, I've got some of this, so maybe I'll just uh, do a little bow. Because I'm pretty sure that this carried over. This is Starry Sky, I don't know, whatever ribbon it's called. So it's in the annual catalog still. Makes it kind of girly. Does it make it girly with a little bow? It kind of does, but you know what? I'm leaving it. Ooh, do I have a brand new package of dew dots? Ooh, what a concept. I do. Hooray me. I usually never have a brand new package of okay let's just pick that up so what you do is you push the center of your bow or you're not onto the glue dot and then you just pick it up and you can stick it right there pick it up and stick it down and then that is my card now you can also wrap ribbon around it if you want but i just think this is a really really fun surprise for somebody to get this card and they open it up and like I said, if you need new air or more area to write, you can actually add a white panel on the back if you've got more to say. It's my dad. I see him all the time. So I think um, just saying, uh, hi, dad, love Karina will be just perfect for him. And I really like the white accent. So I hope that was a helpful tip. And then this is the zoo crew, right? Like singing turtle. Who doesn't love that? They had lots of karaoke on the boat, so I went to go watch karaoke, but I never sang karaoke. So thank you so much for watching me today. I will just check the comments really quick. Welcome home. Thank you. Let's see, Joanne. Kathy got an admirer. Nice. Uh, send me a friend request. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Okay, it looks like we might need to <laughs> we might need to review some people who are watching videos. Anyway, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching me today. I'm so glad that you tune in every week. Thanks for being my customers. Thanks for being my team. Thanks for most importantly being my friends. I am very fortunate. I only stamp with friends. I'm and I've been doing this a long time and I made a lot of friends doing this. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And make sure to fill out the Traveling Joe contest because you know what I'm giving away for a prize? I'm trying to see if I have one here. I am going to give away one set of the Sample Right markers. I'm going to feature these next week in my videos. They are new and improved and amazing. And I'll let you pick the color family that you want. So you don't get all four. You'll get one. So that's what the winner is going to get. So it's a really good prize. I think they're worth around $40. Uh, so make sure you fill out uh, Travel and Joe. You need to find where he was. 10 different spots. I think I had at least 15 places. And I posted on Instagram or you can look on Facebook. Okay, everyone. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. I'll see some of you tomorrow at the virtual card class, and I'll see a lot of you on Friday at our crafting crew stamp night. Thanks a lot for joining me today. 